Hey everybody, welcome to Crypt Keeper Aquatics. My name is Sim, and today I just received a really nice package from Poseidon Pets, so thank you Kyle for sending this over to me. I uh, ordered some shrimp from him for this tank. Um, that was the first thing in the box, so I'm going to get those all drip acclimated, and then I'll give you guys a closer look at what shrimp exactly I had come in. So, toss those up there for now. Uh, he did add in a bunch of moss there for me. That way I can uh, start to grow some of that, hopefully. Uh, I've never been successful with moss in the past, so we'll see. And uh, he also uh, threw in some crypts for me, too. So that's pretty cool. No label on the bag, so I'm really not sure what type they are. I'll uh, open it up and give you guys a better look at that in a second. So I've got them... Uh, all separated out. Looks like he sent four different varieties. This uh, first one, I'm not 100% positive, but I believe it might be the uh, Crypt Undulata. It's, uh, what what it's looking like to me. Um, I'm not 100% positive. We'll uh, let it grow out, wait for it to flower, and uh, we'll go from there. That'll help us to properly identify it. And this next one here, uh, it's either going to be a Parva or Lucens. Um, I'm going to lean more towards Lucens just because of the height of it. And I'm pretty sure he's growing it uh, underwater. So if it was the uh, Parva, it would be much, much taller uh, growing out of water. Up next, uh, he sent some Dwarf Sagittaria. Some real nice little plantlets. Bet the shrimp are really gonna love those. And this last one, I have absolutely no clue what variety it is. So Kyle, if you're in here uh, watching this, could you hop in the comments and let us know? All right, so th those are the plants. Uh, th thank you again so much for sending those. Uh, I wasn't expecting any of the plants at all. Uh, all I had ordered from them was the shrimp themselves, so this was a really, really cool surprise. I'm going to start with what I'm suspecting to be the Crypt Undulata. Put that here in the back, or the mid-ground. Actually, these roots are a little bit long. I'm going to trim them up real quick. That's also going to help them to acclimate to my water conditions a little bit quicker. Just a real quick trim. So I just uh, cut off, left about an inch and a half, two inches or so at the bottom of the root. Clip the next one. And uh, th these leaves are uh, just a little bit um, stressed, probably from the cold weather here in New York and shipping. So I'm actually just going to take and cut them all off. The whole plant's gonna spring right back for me, really, really healthy, and probably a lot quicker than the rest of them. But we'll see. And here's the third plantlet of that one. Again, a huge thank you to Kyle over to Poseidon Pets. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Uh, he's got a lot of great shrimp content. He does a lot of live streams each week. Um, it's always a lot of fun to hang out with him in the chat. Super generous person. W wasn't expecting all these plants to arrive. All I ordered was the shrimp, so... This definitely got me pretty happy. 
So the ones that I'm not sure if it's the Parva or the Lucens, I'm gonna put over here near where I've got the Lucens and uh, we'll uh, let it grow out a little bit more in my tank and uh, see how it compares. Actually, I'm not even sure it's that. I'll have to do a little more uh, research. Kyle, if you're watching this, uh, please uh, hop in the comments and let us know what each of these are. Alright, so this here is the Dwarf Sagittaria. I'm just going to go right here, right up against the glass. Hopefully. Come on. And this here's the last one, the one I'm not sure what variety it is. Never seen it before personally. So we're going to put that up in there and uh, we'll see what it looks like in a few months. That'll be exciting. Alright. And I'll be right back with you once the shrimp finish acclimating in a couple hours. All right, so the shrimp have now fully acclimated. I matched the TDS of the tank water with the TDS in the specimen box. Uh, so that's gonna greatly reduce the stress on them. I drip acclimated one drop per second. It took a few hours. I did uh, take out half the water of the specimen box a few times as it uh, got close to the top. Um, but that is the safest way to acclimate any fish or shrimp or anything. Uh, go as slow as you possibly can. So uh, I, what I ordered from Kyle was a mixed bag of uh, shrimp from his call tank. Um, th this 20 gallon is just going to be a call tank anyway. And it's my first Caradina tank. So I didn't want to spend a ridiculous amount on shrimp and have something happen to them. And I also didn't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on shrimp just for it to become a call tank and I'd lose some of those really high quality genetics. So uh, what he sent to me is some tangerine tigers, some mixed crystal shrimp. I've got red, black, and white in there. He sent some really nice looking blue bolts and then some orange eye blue tigers that look really nice as well. Uh, those orange eye blue tigers, he believes, have been uh, crossbred with the black king kongs, but he's not 100% positive. Um, he was told that the uh, orange eye won't show up on the first generation, which uh, these here are his first generation offspring, and they do have orange eye. So there's a good chance that um, these both had both parents of these were the orange eye blue tiger and not a uh, black king kong but i uh, we'll see how that all turns out uh, i might take them out of here and i uh, try to um crossbreed or keep keep breeding them and i uh, see what happens with it uh see see what we can get to pop out of those but yeah, I'm going to uh, get the last couple in there for you, and uh, we'll give you some close-ups. If uh, you like shrimp content and you really want to learn a lot more and hang out with us each week, uh, Kyle does a weekly stream on his channel, uh, Poseidon's Pets, and I'm typically there each week uh, hanging out with him in the chat. Um it's a really good time, so go subscribe to him. Be sure to splash that like button for me down below and leave us some comments. Let us know what you think of his shrimp. Uh, and let me know uh, how you like this uh, shrimp tank now that it's uh, finally got some shrimp in there. Thanks for watching, guys.